So I'm going to move on to the very next sign. And I might call it a night, I think. I'm not sure. I'm, you know. I have talked about this Saturn turn. I am having Saturn on my Saturn. Exactly right now. Why I am working when it's happening in my first house. Saturn working when Saturn is in his first house. Oh, Lord. We're going to just do this for Pisces. How's that? If I, if I have it in me, I would do Aries, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. It's funny. I've been seeing that card all night. So weird that came out for Pisces. Wow, Pisces. Pisces. Oh, wow. It popped over for you. Is there any other message on top of that? Or is that just it? I can understand. We're going to end with that. Nope, we wouldn't need to get that card. And my lazy butt don't want to go down there. Oh. Well, it's right side up. So we'll talk about it. So the first card you got was the Hermit. I think some uh, Pisces are really taking time to themselves for, you know, learning. I think thinking a lot. I'm just sensing a lot of thinking and going internally, maybe thinking about the meaning of life. I see with the Six of Cups, you might just be thinking about the past, reminiscing, reminiscing and getting emotional over it, over the things that of your past, of maybe Christmases gone by or New Year's gone by or, you know, thinking of the way things used to be. And here's the moon, more emotion, really. I And I do sense also some confusion and possibly some, some self-deception, like when you are not really able to tell yourself the truth, like deceiving yourself in some way. Here's the four, four cups, just down in the cups. This is, like I call this the salty card, because look at her, she's salty. She's so miserable and upset about it. She only got four damn cups and she's upset. And I think <laughs> that's the way some Pisces are. They don't want to have four cups. Everyone else has got eight, nine, ten cups. They're sitting around with, her with, nine, uh, with four cups. They're upset. This might be about love. Here's the lover's card. Could be a decision that has to be made about love. Here's the page of cups, too, right after that. Page of cups. You know, that's that page trying to make that offer, but he's a page. I don't know if you should even take the offer. That's why you're down in the dumps. You know you only got a page. Sounds horrible, doesn't it? But you know he's going to let you down if... You had the moon and the lovers and the hermit. I just feel like the moon and the lovers, that is like, there is some deception. And it could be self-deception. Don't forget the hermit is square Pisces. Sagittarius squares Pisces. I just hope there's no self-deception and you accept this page. Look, bottom of the deck, two of swords. I can't make this up. Two of swords. You can't see it. You don't see it. You might take this offer, love, all deceiving yourself because you're like, all I deserve is a four. You're remembering back when it was good, when you thought it was good. And you right now, you might feel like this page is all you can get. This two of swords is blinding you to the truth. You're worth so much more. If someone is, I don't know what this offer is, but somebody better come correct. Just saying. 
I'm bringing you a little bit of cup. What good is a little bit of cup when you want the whole thing? You're just deceiving yourself. I better stop talking. I get all up in this, these cards. I don't know why. But it's just like thinking back on the past. Sometimes if we've been in a good relationship, I, I sense this. I've seen this on several occasions where people will feel like that was the best I can do. I can't do any better or I or everyone's going to treat me that way. And so they accept lesser than their worth. Just saying. I don't know if that's, you know, situation. So anyway, Pisces, this has been my reading for you. Much love. Much love. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year.